killing her boyfriend with a pair of scissors is heading for a trial. Talks of a plea deal ended today for 20-year-old Krista Kiblin, who faces a charge of criminally negligent homicide. She would spend one to four years in prison if convicted. As 13 Wham, Sean Carroll tells us, both Kiblin and the victim's mom spoke on camera for the first time today. Arriving in court with her mother and family, Krista Kiblin stopped only briefly to say this. I want to say that my heart goes out to the family, and, you know, I'm very truly sorry that this happened. Police say Kiblin and her boyfriend, 18-year-old Joseph Jojo Garcia of Arkport, were fighting in Kiblin's Nunday home on July 2nd. Then Kiblin stabbed Garcia with a pair of scissors. He died hours later at the hospital. I'm truly sorry. This turned out the way it did. She is sorry. I know she is. I'm sorry that I happened to. You know, I want my son back every day. You know, and I can't. And yet, she's with her mom. Garcia's mother says she loved Kidlin like a daughter, yet she's trying to make sense of this increasingly bizarre set of circumstances. Her other son, 22-year-old Anthony Velasquez, was also in court today on an unrelated case. With Krista Kidlin just feet away, Velasquez was sentenced to three and a half years in prison for dealing drugs leaving Garcia's mom to wonder how the woman accused of killing her son stands to serve a maximum sentence of one to four years if convicted. Like a slap on the wrist for taking my son's life. You know, if she didn't do that, he wouldn't have bled to death. I don't understand any of it. I mean, I really don't. With this case all but certain to go to trial, Kidlin is due back in court next month for various motions arguments. Reporting in Geneseo, Sean Carroll, 13, Wham News. Garcia's mother has also retained a lawyer. She says she has serious concerns about the medical attention her son did or did not receive that day.